Hello, this is G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears for boss time against Calamity. Okay, first things first, this guy has a lot of HP, so we absolutely want to take advantage of Booster so we can get our turns as quickly as possible. As far as Calamity itself goes, it's not really extraordinarily difficult. It has no evasion, so just go. feel free to go with your fierce attacks and yeah let's get wild smile on the guy hopefully that might cause it to miss every now and then although we don't have very much evasion ourselves at this point now with Faye, even though i have his third death blow i would recommend only going with his second death blow for attacking because if you use a fierce attack to build up to attack level 1 and then use a second death blow, you'll actually deal more damage than you would with two fierce attacks, which would be required to use his third death blow at attack level 2. So just something to keep in mind there, you want to get your death blows out as quickly as you can. As far as uh, Brigandir goes, yeah I didn't learn any new death blows for Bart there. His uh, first death blow isn't really going to be that much weaker than his second one anyway. I mean, it is a little bit, but nothing, nothing too extraordinary that I'd be concerned about. Haha! -ha! Alright, Wild Smile actually works for a change. It's nice that we got some useful debuffs in an RPG for a change. Oh, by the way, about... Uh, damage. There's actually uh, three different, I think it is, three different colors of damage numbers that you might see on an enemy. I haven't really gone over that yet. The white numbers are for damage that you're actually dealing to the target. Uh, green numbers would be for healing. And then there's red numbers, which are if the target was guarding or guarded against your attack. Basically like defending. Uh, the way guarding works is that if you use, if you either defend or use the charge command, you're put into a sort of defend state where you'll have, I think it's a 95% chance of guarding against an attack, which will greatly reduce the damage that it would deal to you. And you'll see the red numbers there if you actually successfully guarded against an attack. But you can actually guard an attack without defending. There's other ways of, of doing that. So you can still be on the offense, but be able to take advantage of the defensive boost that you would get from defending there. And sometimes you'll see enemies do that too. I'm, we're probably not going to see that against this guy, because he has no evasion, and very little accuracy, but it's there. And also, I think the guard rate of a target when they're not defending, I think it's based on your hit rate, or something like that. So if you've got a lower hit rate, there's, even if you do hit the target, they still might have a pretty good chance of guarding the damage there. So yeah, accuracy is very important in this game. As it is with well, most RPGs, of course. Yeah, this fight could take a while if you didn't know how to do death blows and gears. Like, the first time I played the game... Although this fight was the first one where I actually learned how to do that. I kind of stumbled onto it, how to do death blows, and then I just kind of reverse engineered how it worked before looking it up eventually later. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa! Not again. I thought we had, we already finished boss time. 
What do you mean? Whoa! Oh, crap! Wish I could do that. Oh, wait a minute. I can! Well, that was thorough. Well, busted up that robot there. Oh, oh you, you're still alive. Uh, but good, good. Well, evidently some kind of attack. was weird. Well, we wanted to, you know, get more battle experience and everything with the boss and all that. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. <laughs> Yeah, don't turn your back on a boss until you actually see it fully dissolve, Bart. You haven't played this JRPG before, have you? But alright, let's get out of here now that we've gotten that guy out of the way. So let's see, in order to get to the exit, we gotta go around the east side here. And we got some nice little platforms to get up here. You can't get up here from the west side there for some reason. Hey, hey all right. What do you mean? You're in a desert. You're a desert pirate. Oh, what's with those? Oh, okay. Well, I'll make sure to steer clear of there. Oh, right. Not to mention, I'd probably kick your ass. Yeah, it's pretty much at this point with... What is it? Yeah, with bosses, we're going to be using death blows... For a lot of our damage for quite some time instead of using ethers. Eventually, ethers will become immensely more powerful. But for right now, yeah, ethers aren't really that powerful for us. I think Bart just changed his mind about fighting Faye after he saw him annihilate that boss there. How's it going? Where are we anyway? Oh, we're inside there? And that I thought that thing was way too small to fit a gear in size, but or inside. But well, I guess I was wrong. It's a lot bigger on the inside. Oh, yeah, we already met. Well, it worked this time. It's not like I'm out for blood or anything. Hey, how's it going? You gotta make sure everyone has different colored hair, so that way you can tell the difference between them. Even if their hair color is unrealistic, although I think everyone here has realistic colored hair. Ha ha. Sounds like a plan. 
So what are we going to do now? I mean, we got Veltal fixed up and all that. We escaped from jail. We don't need to worry about anyone attacking Lahan anymore. Unless Av is still going to be looking for me, but I'd imagine not. Okay, where are we? Okay, here we are. How's it going? Huh? Sure, it sounds like a plan. Oh, they got magazines? I would think you guys would just read everything on computers and stuff. Uh -huh. Well, I guess he's not the only one, huh? Are you talking to me, or one of your other friends here? Oh, I don't know if I'd call it a rod, it was more like a whip or something, but... Yeah, we did alright. Okay, so here we can further upgrade our gears, including Brigandier, if we wanted to. But, I wouldn't recommend that, even though we do have some boss fights coming up eventually. Because, uh, what was it? Yeah, there's not going to be as many opportunities to use Brigandier as Veltal. And as you can see, my money is a little tight at the moment. So let's upgrade our engine there a bit. Get a little more HP. And we can even upgrade our armor quite a bit there too. Let's see. Hmm. I think... I think we're going to get a free HP and fuel refill on Veltal, so let's just leave that alone. And let's see. Okay, we can get rid of all this extra armor there. And let's see. I think that protects against the status of some kind. Uh, nothing I'm concerned about. And let's see. I think that boosts your agility in Desert, the AC there. But we're not going to be fighting in Desert for a while. And by the time we do, we'll have much cheaper circuits available to take care of that. So, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. And let's see, there's no uh, parts that I would want to buy. Maybe I should just take a quick look, though. Let's see. Well, we do have a better weapon that we could give to Brigham Deer. But, again, it's not really that much better than what we've already got. And we won't even have a chance to equip it before the next boss fights anyway. So, yeah, don't worry about it. And, yeah, early on our money's going to be a bit tight. Later on, not so much. But generally, I only upgrade gears that I know I'm going to be using, like, now or in the very near future. Let's see what else we got around here. Let's see, we got this huge hangar around here. We don't have many gears around, just the two, I guess. Can we get in there? Oh, okay, I can't get in there. Hmm, okay, I thought there might have been some, like, little areas. Like, if you walk up to a gear, you'll usually find, like, a mechanic or someone else tinkering around with it, repairing it, or whatever. But, yeah, not here. So, okay, let's, uh, well, check out the rest of the ship. Hey, how's it going? What do you mean? Oh, no, of course not. Now you're just talking crazy. So yeah, one thing to keep in mind is that the gear shop here is actually a little better than the next gear shop we run into, oddly enough. Oh, okay, there's nothing here. Can I take a look at anything? Get a little foreshadowing? Or No? No? Okay, never mind. I thought there might have been something remotely interesting.
How's it going? Can we rest up here or something? Or... What do you mean? Oh. I don't know what would happen if we did that, but okay. Oh. Okay, I guess we're doing pretty good then, huh? Ha ha. Let's go. Man, they got a lot of pirates around here, huh? Well, I suppose it's a big enough ship. Someone's got to keep everything going. Can I get up there and talk to that dude? Hmm. I don't know who he's talking about, but okay. Yeah, I don't think these guys have much relevance. What cards? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that guy was talking about, but let's see. If you talk to this guy, yeah, you can rest up here for free. And you got dirty long laundry hanging around everywhere in this place. I'm probably not going to explore everything on the sand cruiser here, but I will explore a lot of it. And there's still some other stuff that I would like to buy as well. <laughs> How do you break a wall? I mean, it's made out of metal. Well, let's see, I don't think we need to go to the gun room or the engine room, but... Well, there is one thing I want to do here. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Wonder why everyone around here calls him Young Master. I would think the older ones would be in charge. But, okay, let's see what he sells here. Okay, so here, you got some speed rings that could be pretty useful. Though, we acquire some in other ways later on. So, I don't really feel the need to buy them. But what I do want to buy are guardian rings. Now, the description in-game is pretty ambiguous, to say the least. I'm not 100% sure how they work, but I do, I'm pretty sure they boost your guard rates. And that would, that also transfers over to gears. So yeah, let's get one there, get one on Sitan there. I'm guessing they boost your guard rate by like 40%, even when you're not attacking. The battle mechanics guide is unclear as to how this works. I think, though, because you're equipping the Guardian Ring, you lose your chance to, to evade attacks, but the guard rate is totally worth it because our evasion right now isn't that good anyway. And let's see what we got going on down here. I don't think anyone is actually down here, though. It's kind of hard to tell with the camera angles, though. You know, they've just got a whole bunch of empty rooms around here. I don't think anything ever happens in this room. Well, I could be wrong on that, but yeah, I don't think I've ever needed to go into that room. Like, for the plot or anything. Let's see, if we go up here, go straight up now. Yeah, we can check out our engine room. that. Okay, I thought they were just wearing the eye patches just just to make us or make them look like pirates so we could tell. 
Okay, I forgot that they actually explained that. That is one thing about this game. There is a lot of plot to the game. And, I mean, I think it all makes sense. But there's so much of it, it's kind of hard to remember everything. <laughs> so... I'm amazed I've been able to get as much... Or remember as much of the plot as I've been able to. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, he's not with us right now, so don't you worry. Let's see. I wouldn't buy a third Guardian Ring, even though eventually we will have three party members to control. Because we're going to find another accessory that'll do something similar to that. Wow, well, it's a pretty small tree, huh? I would say, why don't you plant it outside or in the ground or something, but... Yeah, I suppose we're kind of in the middle of a desert, so that doesn't really help us. Hmm. But, okay, so if we go up here, we can get to the bridge of the ship. And, let's see, to the right, we got... Okay, well, yeah, we can get to the top of the submarine, or the deck, up that ladder there, but you can't do it while we're traveling around and all that. Oh, so that's how this thing works, huh? I do like that they have, like, a full crew here, instead of having only, like, two or three people running the whole ship. Like, in a Final Fantasy game or something. Oh, yeah, I suppose they would be, huh? Hey, okay, let's go. Uh... Sure, why not? Got another one? Oh, okay, so I guess this guy just plays random sound effects or something. Wouldn't that be a really bad idea? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Okay, so I guess this is the whole continent that we're on at the moment. Can I get out of here? There you go. What do you mean a banana boat? Do they smuggle bananas on that boat? No. Nah. No, nah, that's another game of yours. I'm serious. Oh. Yeah, that's true. There were, like, underground caverns and everything else to go through. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, at least now we don't have to worry about getting lost in the desert. Yeah, whenever you go around... Well, we don't have access to the world map right now. But, well, after... Or once we do get access to the world map again, we'll be able to go around the Abid Desert without getting lost. You won't go into any underground caverns or anything like that. And you won't have to, like, be wandering the desert endlessly like we did before we got arrested and all that. Eh? 
Yeah, I guess you need a big base for a big ship, huh? Got anything bigger around here? I like the theme music they got for the Yggdrasil here. I hope you like that music, viewers, because you're going to be hearing a lot about it. I like how they have a lot of different functions to the Yggdrasil, like the like the gear shops and the accessories. You could rest up there and a whole bunch of different stuff that you can do here. I like that. As opposed to just having an airship where its only function is to take you from point A to point B, and that's all. How's it going, guys? What do you mean, what did we bring you? What, you don't like giant robots? Everyone loves giant robots. Oh, we did? So, you guys like fossilized amber more than giant robots? Strange kids. But whatever works for you guys. Um, yeah, I suppose. I like Mason. Or Mason, or however you pronounce his name. So yeah, this elevator will actually take us into the base itself. There's still a little more that we can explore around this area, but, well, the plot is taking us elsewhere, I guess. So yeah, this place is pretty big altogether. Including the Yggdrasil, that is. Actually, now that I think about it, if I wanted to, I think I could go to the world map if I just went, like, straight up from here. But I'm not going to. Let's go over here to the residential area. So I guess this is where, uh, well, more crew members or just civilians or whoever lives here. But what are Bart and the pirates trying to accomplish here anyway? Find out next time on Let's Play Zeno Gear. This is Dave Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!